In this video, I show you how to use the Profit Sniper Strategy Finder to find the optimal settings for your indicator. For that, you are able to tune for these settings, the three here, the first three, and also for the stop loss and the take profit settings. First, we need to specify our pair by typing in, for example, ETH USD. And next, we need to specify the time frame, one hour in this case. You are also able to specify multiple pairs by separating them with commas, like so, and for the time frames as well. So comma for hour, and a comma one day, for example. Important here is that you have the time frames in your favorite bar, otherwise it will not work. Now we specify the value range that you want to test. We start with the entry room length here. This is from and to value. And next we have the momentum length that we can adjust and then the momentum height. Every time I adjust these ranges, the complexity of our test run will increase. You can see here are the steps that are necessary for this run. And here roughly the time that it will take for the run to finish. Because every step will take roughly 1.3 seconds so in this case, 44 steps and roughly a minute to finish this run. Now I can adjust the take profit and the stop loss. And as you can see, this will have an impact on our steps as well. Now I'm able to fine tune how detailed our step size is for take profit and stop loss. This means how much the stop loss and the take profit will be increased by every step. By default it is 0.1, but we can do this much more in detail, like so. And this shows how nuts you can go with this tool. It is absolutely crazy. This can run forever if you do some crazy values here. So for example, if you do something like this, this can almost run forever. So for this demonstration, I will reduce the complexity a little bit. So that I can show you how this will run. So it's better to reduce the step size as well. The other thing here is the threshold for the percent profitable trades here. So by default, the tool is looking for the net value. This is this one here. But if you're interested in the percent profitable settings, this is this value there, then you can tick this checkbox and define a threshold. By default it is 85%. This means every settings with 85% or more are shown here in the results. Now let's start the test run and as you can see the tool will now cycle through every settings here in a clockwise manner. So this means first the ribbon length and if we reach the 84 now it's switching to the momentum length and then cycle through every settings until we get here the take profit and the stop loss settings as well. The tool will show you in which step we are and the remaining time and how long every step takes and calculate based on that the remaining time. The first entry here in the results list 
is the current best settings of this current run. So this will be updated every time here, you can see. Now it's 1300 and this will currently update it if there's a new best setting. To speed it up a little bit, I will stop the current run here. And as you can see, it will save all the best settings for us. And by clicking on one of these settings, it will update the backtest tool so that we have the settings there. So, and as you can see here, if I click on older settings, this gives us really crazy numbers. This tool is really, really powerful to find really cool settings. So just put in your numbers and let it run overnight and wake up to some crazy settings. Now I will show you shortly the threshold. If you adjust this one here to let's say 50%, this means every setting that is greater than 50 will be listed here. And if we start the run here, you can see that it's updated really fast. Here are a lot of settings that are above 50%, so I will stop this quickly. If I click off on one of them, it will bring me to the settings. And we are just looking here at the percent profitable trades. So if I close the extension and reopen it, it will always list the findings from new to old. And I can remove them by clicking on this trash icon or remove all of them. One last thing I want to show you is if you want to use a pair from a specific exchange, then type in your pair and use your arrow keys to go to the exchange you want. And then you can copy this value here and put it in as your pair name with the exchange as the prefix.